After a Russian S-70 Akhutnik unmanned combat aerial vehicle went out of control, a Russian Su-57 stealth fighter jet fired a short-range air-to-air missile and shot down the S-70, and it crashed into Ukrainian-controlled territory. India's gliders India Limited have secured a 21 crore rupees export order for brake and pilot parachutes to Malaysia, Vietnam, Indonesia, Turkmenistan, Nigeria, Kenya and Poland. Troops Comfort Limited have secured a 2.5 crore rupees export order for snow boots from the Nepalese army. Alarm bells have rung, after munitions India Limited delivered close to 500 tons of explosives to a German company Rainmetal, which has been debarred from business on corruption charges since 2012. Despite an increase in the scope of work, Hindustan Shipyard has successfully completed the refit of Coast Guard offshore patrol vessel seven days ahead of schedule. The DRDO has successfully tested functional prototypes of both the visual and thermal adaptive camouflage systems on a T-90 tank in field environments, that were found to be highly effective in reducing detection range against visual near-infrared, and thermal infrared sensors. The Indian Navy will hold the maritime exercise Malabar 2024 with the navies of Australia, Japan and the United States from 8 October. Serial Dip 2 Projects has delivered the 7th ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge to the Indian Navy. The newly appointed Indian Air Force Chief has said, that the aircraft selected under the MRFA tender for 114 fighter jets should follow the Jaguar model, and this statement signals that the Indian Air Force is looking for a partner, who can not only deliver the aircraft, but also grant India full access to the aircraft source codes mission systems and radar integration capabilities, that would allow the Air Force to locally upgrade and enhance the aircraft operational performance over the next several decades. His statement also highlights a potential area of concern for many foreign manufacturers vying for the MRFA contract, as these manufacturers rely on future upgrades maintenance and modernization programs as a steady revenue stream long after the initial sale. By taking control of the aircraft's future upgrades, the Air Force would remove the need for foreign involvement in many lucrative post-sale services. The Indian Air Force chief has said, that Hindustan Aeronautics has struggled to deliver the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets on time, and it must stick to its promise of producing 24 aircraft every year to offset the delay. He also stressed, that lessons learned should guide critical future projects like Tejas Mark II and AMCA. He also added, that the Indian Air Force is way ahead of the Chinese Air Force in manpower and training, but India is lagging in technology and production rate. Saffron Rolls-Royce and General Electric, all three potential partners for the 110 kN jet engine program, have each offered their own modified flying test bed platforms as part of their proposals. Saffron has proposed using a Rafale aircraft as a flying test bed, while Rolls-Royce has proposed using its Boeing 747 flying test bed, which has four engine configuration, that will allow engineers to safely test new engines even in case of failure. General Electric has proposed using its Boeing 747-400 flying test bed, that has a proven track record of testing advanced jet engines, but General Electric is seen as the least favored partner for the AMCA engine program, due to geopolitical and technical factors. Today's top 3 comments.